that quiet sheep. You tempered oaf. Let them eat thistles if they don't. One thrust of my sword, that's all it will take. <laughs> oh, to be a man. I think the stars, madam, that you are not. <laughs> today. And at Father Yosef? Frail in body, but not in spirit. Oh, if only your dear mother and father were alive to see this day, how proud they would have been of you. And like your stepmother, who by the by has already sent an envoy in search of you, have you forgot this day? You should have been here to greet your future wife. No. No, I had not forgotten. And please, don't tell me what a beauty she is. Or how obedient and submissive. I shall only be civil because the rules of chivalry decree that I should greet her as an honored visitor. She seems as gentle as a mock. You know as well as I that this marriage is a mockery. I will not be used by my stepmother in her greedy games. The poor child knows not of that. No. God protect her. When did they arrive? An hour ago, and the queen is soon to give them audience, and you should be there. Good manners, if nothing else. Oh, go, my dear. If only to please an old lady. <laughs> Very well. To please you. Back to arms. are cold to the knees. Noble guests, we receive you with honor. The honor is mine, your majesty, that the Prince Wenceslas should be taking my daughter's hand in marriage. I like the Prince to be absent at his own betrothal. But I need your trumpet. The heir apparent is possessed of all the princely virtues, your grace, save one. Punctuality. Uh, with the... Uh, your Majesty's permission. The dowry, ma'am. And these, the title deeds of that part of my land we agreed upon. 
We thank you for these endowments. It is, of course, reward enough that we should be blessed with such a charming addition to our family. But your generous gifts are most welcome. I'm sure the union will bring mutual benefits, Your Majesty. Indeed. Come forward, child. Let me see your face. Uh, forgive her, Your Majesty. She's overwhelmed by the occasion and by weariness. Evidently. Our journey was exhausting. At every turn of the road, we expected robbers and cutthroats. Heaven forbid that your grace should fall in with such villains here at court. <laughs> they call you Joanna, do they not? What ails you, child? Are you sick? Lift up your head. Do I detect a stubborn streak? I do declare, mother, that the girls are mute. Now there's a blessing for Wenceslas. What more could a man ask for than a wife who's dumb? She is a quiet child, sire. Joanna, what are you thinking of? Do you wish to shame me in the eyes of the queen? I wish to go home. Oh, she has spirit. That is good. Be cheerful, my dear. Marriage is not an affliction. Especially if you are betrothed to a prince. I don't wish to be married to anyone. Johanna. Your Majesty. You have indeed traveled far, my lord. Now you must rest. The marriage ceremony will take place on the last day of the month. Soon we will proclaim the happy event. We shall prepare for the feast and meet again to celebrate. I am the Queen's servant. Does it mean nothing to you that I have no love for this prince? 